Hello guys, this is Nikki and uh, you're watching the Awesome 10X channel and I'm here to answer the most requested questions of Filipinos uh, about trading globally. So uh, you've probably watched my channel and uh, many people want to invest globally and they don't know how. So let me just discuss to you a few things on opening an account. So uh, people have been asking me, Nikki, what do you use to open an account to trade globally? So I'm a Filipino. Uh, do you need a lot of money? The answer is not. You could invest throughout the world. And um, me personally, I use interactivebrokers.com. So how do I open an account? Uh, as you could see here in my screen, I open an account. Take note that I am not an individual that is affiliated with interactive brokers. This is just me telling you what I use. So since I am an applicant, okay, so join, start the application. This will take you at least an hour to finish, like step one, step two, step three, step four, step five. So I won't go through the those things. You could see that you'll create a username, password, email address. They'll ask you to submit your passport and your driver's license. That one I did. Uh, and eventually, of course, once your account is open, I will show to you the screens of interactive brokers so that you know how to trade. Um, but before I begin, how much should I deposit there? How can I deposit? How do I do those things? Okay, so um, how is it going to be? Okay, you have a login page. You can trade interactive brokers, whether through your phone, your mobile phone, which is my phone. I have my mobile phone. And um, to be honest, uh, the mobile phone is what I use more rather than the laptop. But the beauty, but the beautiful, beautiful thing about this is that I can access it both ways. So uh, there will be an authentication, definitely. So uh, example, I'm going to share to you a few things. So I'm sharing you the screen of interactive brokers. User interface-wise, I know that it's not the best. But the reason why I chose to open an account here is because it is the cheapest. When I say the cheapest, they only charge $1 fixed fee whether I buy $1,000 worth or just $500 worth. So uh, example, um, fund your account. How does that happen? You go deposit funds. Um, if you deposit the funds, you might ask yourself, are there charges and fees? So I use in the Philippines, China Bank. Uh, my friends use Metro Bank, BDO, BPI. Maybe you can use any dollar account that you have. Make a deposit. Uh, just click that transfer fund, uh, your save deposit information. So I'm using China Bank, so I select that. Uh, or I can choose a different uh, deposit method. Um, but usually, my friends, uh, what we do is we wire funds through the bank because we're not naman an American account. So um, this one is better for us, bank wire, how to wire funds. Contact your bank or financial institution to wire funds to your account. So um, I also help other people. If you have a hard time, maybe you don't have a dollar account, um, what you can do is you can buy dollars. Um, I help people. Uh, I will, you know, I will. So some of my students, some of my clients, they pay me in pesos and then I pay dollars. Uh, I, 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 I bring dollars to their account in uh, interactive brokers. So uh, there is an 800 peso telegraphic fee, telegraphic transfer fee. That's, uh, that's a charge by the banks. And uh, there's an $18 uh, minus uh, when we receive. So let's say I deposit $3,000 there, $3,000 minus $18. Whether I deposit $3,000 or $5,000 or $10,000, it's, uh, it's fixed. Like uh, I need to pay 800 pesos telegraphic fee. And then the bank there, which is the city bank, will deduct $18. So the sending and receiving, there's that fixed fee. So those are the things that you have to think about whenever you are um, ordering uh, money and depositing. Now, um, how does it work? People keep on asking me, how do you buy an IPO? Okay, so you can go to the trading. There is what you call an IPO subscription. So uh, right now, I am interested in a few IPOs. Palantir is coming out. Uh, maybe Stripe is coming out. Snowflake might come out. So far, there are no currently active IPO subscriptions. But as you could see, um, my email address is on record u.nikki at gmail.com so if that you know if it's listed uh, i will just click here and then enter the ipo link and then i will subscribe it's as easy as that now how do i trade guys um you go to the trade function again 
Uh, of course, uh, as I said, I can order on my mobile phone or uh, actually there's a lot of webinars. I don't even go to their webinars. Um, but the beautiful thing about this is that their rates are very cheap. Um, I'll show to you how I uh, know how cheap. So example, uh, I have example a stock position Akamai. So let's say I bought five dollars. The market price today is one hundred ten. My average cost is one hundred three. So market value is five hundred fifty dollars. You could see I have an unrealized profit of thirty six dollars. So there, like it shows to you everything that I own and uh, what I bought. And then um, there is also a cash. There's this negative eight thousand dollars, meaning I borrowed eight thousand dollars. And then they will show to me. Um, there's messages here uh, about. Um, so sometimes they'll also uh, inform you, like they'll liquidate a position if I ordered so much. Um, that's also fine. Uh, as uh, that is for the margin, like uh, what they'll do is if I ordered more than the ten thousand dollars allotted, um, that's fine. Uh, they'll sell a few shares, <clears throat> like this one. So um, sold pager duty, uh, two shares, thirty bucks. Sold work, which is lack, two shares. Shares thirty one dollars, so that was about sixty dollars, sixty dollars. So there, uh, it's nothing, not a biggie. Uh, it's fine. Um, what else? Um, you so let's talk about like um charting or data. Uh, to be honest, uh, I don't pay for my data because in the U.S. you have to pay for these data. I use the Trading View. I'll show to you my charts. Um, example this one. This is how I trade uh, abroad. Like, um, uh, and then people ask me, well, do you wake up? Do you sleep? Like, sabi ko, yes, I do. Um, 9.30 p.m. to 4 a.m., it is open. But I do my homework. I have my classes. So actually, whenever I'm awake, 9.30 p.m. to 4 a.m., pwede naman ako matulog. I can sleep. I can also be awake. Uh, sometimes there's news that I need to be aware of. But technically speaking, with our system, I'm not so uh, I'm not so worked up about like um, about the ticks of even a five percent or ten percent down or even fifteen percent down because I'm confident of our system. I'm confident of what I bought. Uh, and of course, if you are strictly trading, um, you can always put your stops. Um, I'm more of an investor mindset, so I do like five percent positions on companies I like with a secular trend bent. Now, I'm showing to you this thing that I'm doing when I'm trading. So investing.com slash portfolio. You could see there is Nikki Watch, 2Watch, IGV, e-commerce, fast food, SaaS, video game nerd. So I actually like segregate my stock picks uh, in uh, sector wise. I also take a look at 5G, electric cars, what's wrong in 2020, what do I think, like turn around picks. So I, I you know, I, I do those watch lists for myself so that I can see um what companies are um are, are names that i want to study right so example like ipos uh which companies am i willing to study uh levongo was an ipo last year uh yeah so like those things so um which ones like like gan is an ipo this year uh, on sports betting then uh gamble which is uh, esports entertainment then i'm looking on graph which is gonna be veladine lighter so i put it all like uh all the new up uh, new ipos like lemonade uh progeny which is fertility bill.com um so I'm, i mean i'm just showing to you my watch lists but i have a lot of watch lists so example, if I like wearables, I put it here, like a trend that I'm looking at. So music, Snapchat, Facebook, so those things. Um, casinos, you could see this. So I make up, I make my own holding, uh, I make my own portfolio to watch to see what's happening in my Donzi. Uh, so I, I consider my Donzi my resilient name. So that stands for Domino's, Activision, Amazon, uh, Walmart. Netflix and Zoom. So yeah, so whenever there's news, I catch it here. So portfolio news, I read about why electronic arts rose 23%, why Netflix stock rose 40%. So yun, um, that's how I monitor it. That's for my news, like my holdings. And then I also go to uh, trading view to chart. Uh, so I, I will, um, so this is how I trade. I also teach people how to trade and prepare for their uh, for their portfolios. They don't have to be awake 9.30 p.m. I'm aware that you are, you know, you at 9.30 p.m., you might be relaxing or sleeping. You're outside. You tell yourself, 
ha, ah, this global stock market, it's not for me. Actually, you are preventing yourself to make a lot of money by saying that because you can open an account in Interactive Brokers for just $1,000. Actually, there's no minimum, guys. You can open with $500 or $300. But as I said, if you put in, let's say, $300, and then you're paying 800 pesos here for the, the, tra the transfer fee, and then you're paying another $18 uh, minus there, di ba? So parang ang, ang advice ko to people is, uh, ipon muna kayo, save something like a thousand dollars or two thousand dollars, and then when you have two thousand dollars, okay, sige. Uh, and also invest in your learning. Um, I'm happy that you are watching the show, wherein I really want you to learn. Um, I have the Spotify Faces Trader. You can, you know, you can follow me whenever you just are. Instead of like watching any YouTube show, try to watch my show or try to listen to my, uh, try to listen to our Spotify. Uh, you could see that uh, some of our picks went 200%, 300%. Okay, so example, Levongo is a company that I was discussing in my Spotify podcast last year. Uh, do you know that we I've been discussing it as this at about $26, and now it's already $94. That's just a year, guys, like 2019. So parang something like June. I, I can't remember. Eh, parang June, July, August, October, November. So... 2019, guys. So it's less than like 12 months. And this is already up about 400%. See? Telemedicine moves. Um, well, this was an IPO last uh, 2019. See? From 44, it went to 15, rally to about 28, then kaboom, breakout 44, then boom, 94. So yeah, this is an IPO that is uh, very, very strong last year, 2019. So maybe this year, um, I'm going to share to you, diba? Palantir is planning to list uh, this one, oh, Palantir IPO. So and dami sa US, guys. Um, I've made some money on, uh, like a look, uh, Palantir files for an IPO. Uh, this is a good growth story that you might need to study on. Um, and then Stripe is coming out, Robinhood is coming out, Snowflake is coming out. Guys, and damin yung nami miss if hindi kayo nagi invest globally. Um, I have made money in this one, Beyond Meat, this listed last year, guys. Uh, I got in at about 63 here. It went as high as 240. That was just less than three months. That was about June. Kaboom! This is just August. Like three months, guys. Then bumagsak. Like this year, COVID, if you wanted to buy, buy back at 64, 65. Honestly speaking, hindi na ako nakabalik no March eh. Ang dami kasing mura talaga no March. So parang I had everything to choose. Ay, nawalan naman ba ako? Andito pa ako. Ay, may tanong. How do you monitor your stocks for uh, swing position trading with the time difference? Okay, so um, how do I monitor it? Um, I do monitor it through my investing.com portfolio. Of course, I take a look at um, I take a look at what's happening, and then um, so alam ko na example like last night, I knew na ang tagilid ko na position is um just graph. The rest is actually winners. So yon um, wala ang problema to monitor. I just use investing.com to monitor. Now, what's the difference between, uh, there's a question now, what's the difference between cash account or margin account? Well, um, to be honest, when I started, cash account lang ako. Uh, but recently, I realized na, shucks, and dami pa lang opportunities. Imbis na magpasok ko ng another $5,000, $10,000 cash, I can just borrow money and then upgrade ko na lang yung service. Uh, so they allowed me, like IDKR is giving me a, a, a margin account, like less than 1.5% a year. They have rates, eh, like parang 2% a year. A year to, ah, I'm talking about a year. And then they will charge you months to date interest. So personally, um, I would say na mag-margin account kayo. Um, mag-open kayo ng $5,000, tas mag-margin kayo. Can you name some websites where you do your research about the secular trends? Okay, guys. Um, Me personally, when I study a company, when I study secular, inaaral ko yan lahat. So, um... I'll tell you what. So yes, kumita tayo sa gaming, video games. Um, ano, aralin mo yung holdings. So pag nag-aaral ako, inaaral mo yung buong video game industry. So there's no such thing as one website. Uh, depende sa inaaral mo. If I'm studying electric energy, hindi pwede Tesla lang inaaral mo. Aralin mo yung buong sector. 
the batteries, every company out there, every sector has about 50 to 100 companies. In fact, today, uh, syempre, kita nyo naman, no? nakikita nyo dito sa channel, eh, na, nag-aaral ako ng Gili Auto, inaaral ko tong Mercedes-Benz, um, inaaral ko yung mga ganyan. So, ako kasi, walang shortcut, guys. Kung gusto nyo kumita ng pera, ang pinaka-shortcut dyan, maybe attend my class. Kasi, inaaral ko siya, eh. Pero um, inaaral ko yan, like um, kapag video games or fintech payments, hindi mo sa akin pwede sabihin, Visa, MasterCard lang alam mo. Siyempre, may Square yan, may PayPal yan, may Ant Financial yan, di ba? Stone ko, pag siguro. So, hindi ako dito nag nagmamumble ng names, ha? Pag inaaral mo yung secular trend, hindi yan website-website. Basahin mo lahat! Mag-Google search ka. Ganun lang kasimple, guys. Google search. Paano ako nag-aral ng wearable trends? Paano ako malalaman na, ah, pag wearable pala, dapat alam mo, si Copin, si Vuzi. At tingin mo, alam ko yon na, ano yun, pumasok lang sa head ko? Hindi. Aral yun. Magbasa ka ng wearable trends. Oh, kamusta na yung wearable trends ngayon? Industry. Sino yung nag ng glasses? Google started this 2012. So, nag-fail yun, Google Glass. Now, Apple Glasses is coming out, smart glasses. So, walang secret for research. Walang website. I don't go to Wall Street Journal or Bloomberg, but if I have to, I will. Random yan. Basahin mo lahat, A, B, C, D, E, kung kailangan mo. Spend a day, spend five days, spend one year, if you want to, for a certain trend. But, you know, yes, um, I will never say that uh, research is something that you can just get from the, from anywhere. Um, and maybe you can understand how deep I research when you listen to a few podcasts. Even if just if even if you just watch some of my videos, uh, I do Friday classes. You could see that paano mo inaral, like paano ko inaral yung razor. Di ka pwede mag-aral ng razor kapag di mo alam yung buong gaming sector. So sino kalaban ni razor? Alam natin yan, si Turtle Beach. Kalaban niya si Sun yung Sennheiser. What is your cut loss price? Pwede ka mag-auto sell. Uh, you can post it, automatic, auto limit. I would say that 20% is a, is a caution already on my end. Like parang, shit, pag nag-down ako 20%, may problema na to. Kasi usually, hindi naman magda-down ng 20 unless ka mo buong market bumagsak. So in last March, yes, bumagsak yon. So at that point in time, in my head, Okay lang yun kasi lahat na bumabagsak, it was all throughout. Like 99% of every stock you hold is down. Although, um, depende sa magnitude. Like Amazon was down 20, some names were down 50, down 60. So talagang kayo, July ngayon, to be honest, huli kayo. You missed like 100 to 300% move. But it doesn't mean that huli kayo forever. Kasi there's money to be made. Like that's the one that people were saying to me. I started 2018 to study, 2019, pasok ako. Noong 2015, to be honest, meron ako mga Facebook. Facebook, Amazon, Microsoft, uh, Google, Disney. Tapos, pinatulog ko lang yun. Noong nag-100 up yun, sabi nga ng dad ko, mukhang okay naman yung global mo. Mag-concentrate ka sa bagay na kumikita ka. Kasi hindi kumikita yung Pilipinas ko nun eh. Sabi ko, o nga eh, parang mas malakas yung US. Kaya, no ngayon, nag, so nag-aral ako mabuti. Um, I spend two hours a single day, minimum, listening to podcasts, watching videos. So, inaaral mo yan. Like, kunwari, gusto mo sabihin sa akin, Nikki, alam ko yung mga gaming-gaming na yan. Pwede tayong mag-Q&A. Tingnan ko kung alam mo talaga. Huwag mo sabihin sa akin, Nvidia lang alam mo. Sige nga. Ano, Nintendo lang alam mo? Sony lang alam mo? Baka hindi mo alam, 100 companies yan, aarali mo yan lahat kung talagang aarali mo yung video games. Na kung sabi mo, ang hirap naman nito, hindi naman mahirap kung gusto mo eh. Eh, secular trend rin eh. Siyempre, the more you know about it, the more ka hindi manginginig. Kasi, you know, um, I like what I do. I love studying secular trends. Marami bang requirements? Baka mas stock yung fund withdrawal. Hindi. Ah, uh, Bank lang, bank wire transfer. So, um, kailangan mo lang magbigay ng driver's license at ng passport. Actually, yung driver's license kasi, kaya ako siya binigay kasi may address yun. Pero pwede mo rin bigay credit card bill. Basta they need a proof of address. 
and then they need to have your passport. So yun, I gave that to them. What's the difference? Ano pa, may tanong pa ba tayo? May mga questions ba? Mag-start ka sa mga, ano, sa mga exchange. I think, um, so like the, the beautiful thing about IBKR is that access mo lahat yan, 200 countries. So kaya mo i-access the entire world is at your fingertips. So you can trade Europe, uh, let's say, uh, let's say, gusto mo sila Louis Vuitton. Um, di mo naman kailangan maging sobrang, ano eh, di mo naman kailangan yung sobrang, parang kailangan mo isipin yung mga trends. Kunwari, gusto mo yung isang company. Let's say, gusto mo talaga si LVMH. I mean, ako naman, I started, nagsimula ako, ganyan lang eh. Um, gusto ko yung mga Facebook, gusto ko yung mga ganyan, mga Disney. Yun, I, I, put, I, I put little amount, like uh, small amounts, tapos hinaya ko lang yun, pinabay na hold ko lang yun eh. That was about 2015. Tapos yun, umangat, so parang na-realize ko na tuunan ko kaya ng attention to. Yun. So, so far, you could see how I've learned. I spent about one to two hours every single day listening uh, to a lot of podcasts. I'd recommend listening to Motley Fools, uh, Rule Breaker Investing. And of course, listen to me, uh, Faces Trader on Spotify. I have this uh, Twitter account. Uh, my Twitter is Faces Trader. Uh, I have a YouTube account. Ayun, sinabi ko na nga sa inyo eh, na... <laughs> I'm studying this, automotives, Gili Auto, inaaral ko yan, uh, part of the electric trends. So, ang dami guys, um, pag tinignan mo kasi yung sector na yan, secular, actually inside our awesome 10X, mapakita ko na lang din sa inyo. So, um, if you want a crash course, yung mabilisan, Nikki, pass on mo lahat ng knowledge mo sa akin, I have a month to study, sige. Baka, baka ikaw yung malunod sa bibigay ko sa'yo, ha? kasi... Pag sinabi mo sa akin, bigyan kita ng aaralin, malulunod ka. Kasi ako yung teacher na hindi kita tatantanan. Kung gusto mo mag-aral, bibigyan talaga kita ng homework araw-araw. Here, Global Investing Core Training, kaboom, lahat yan. Introduction, how is long-term wealth created? How to make money in a bear market? So dyan, nandyan na yan. Naka-video na yan para kang nanonood ng Netflix na lang. Kahit zero knowledge ka, ginawa ko yan para sa mga taong without knowledge. Tapos everyday, ganito yan. Di ba, nagbabayad ng 2,000 pesos a month? Ito yun. Um, pasok ka sa inner circle. Meron tayong official Viber group. Meron din tayong Slack channel. Maayos yan. Nakapasok dyan lahat. Kung gusto mo aralin athleisure vanity, nandyan yan. Um, nagbabasa ako ng mga Nike annual reports, pati kopong-kopong 1987. Kasi hindi ko sinasabi na gawin mo yun. Pero ganun ako eh. Weirdo ako eh. Talagang ginagawa ko minsan yung mga bagay na yun. So parang, yan, June 2020, o oh, Limelight Networks, pag-usapan natin. Golden Warriors, pinag-usapan natin. Mga Golden Miners. Fo Facebook Boycott Digital Ads, pinag-usapan ko dyan. Mga digital advertising companies. Maybe you know about Facebook. Maybe you know about Google. But maybe some of you don't know uh, more intricate knowledge about them. There is a company like the Trade Desk, also in digital advertising. Um, electrifier portfolio, and damin yan. Um, sa May, every day yan, na? Monday to Friday, isa-isang araw yan. Every day, my class. So, yun, like that's what you get. Um, can you open a joint account? Yes, you can. Uh, of course, I opened individual lang, but you can. I, I think you can, yes. Wala namang problema, you can open. What's better, eToro or alternative brokers? So as I said, the reason why I use interactive brokers is because I can access the world, guys. I can access Hong Kong, Japan, Europe, USA. So I think like, I'm not sure. I, I don't know. I can't comment on eToro because I don't use it. Pero like ako, happy now sa interactive brokers. And everyone that I knew that was trading an amount, amount of money na medyo seryoso naman, Nogi interactive brokers kami eh. So, nakita ko kasi lahat ng professional traders, interactive brokers eh. Tapos, wala namang minimum eh. You can, at that point in time, $10,000 yung minimum. Ngayon, zero ah. Zero minimum. And I forgot, my fractional shares. What does fractional shares mean? Dati kasi, pag bibili ka ng Amazon, let's say you were buying it at $1,600, you had to pay one share. E ngayon, $3,000 na yan. 
yung trading view chart po ba integrated sa IB? Hindi. Actually, to be honest, sa IB kasi, para siyang low-cost carrier, para siyang Cebu Pacific na parang kailangan mo bayaran yung market data dito, kailangan may bayad dito. So, parang ginawa niya na kung gusto mo lang mag-trade, execute lang, one dollar lang yon So, ako, I go to IB just to execute. Hindi ako dyan nag-chart, hindi ako dyan kumukuha ng mga market data. I don't really care about that. Yung fractional shares, meron yan sa IBKR. Sila yung nagpauso noon. Pero I think meron na rin si Charles Schwab, meron na ata si E-Trade. I'm not sure kung meron sa Itoro. As I said, di ko naman chine-check yung mga yun. But, but I think it was due to Robin Hood. Kaya lahat ng mga brokerage firms nagsibabaan. Because you know why I use IBKR? Dati, Charles Schwab was trading us uh, spending $8. $8 of fee per transaction na. So whether I'm buying $1,000 or $2,000 or $500, I pay $8. Ang beauty kay IBKR, let's say I'm starting small. Yes, my cryptocurrencies rin. Lahat available. Guys, lahat. Forex, IB, lahat. Pag sinabi nila lahat, when I say lahat, lahat po. Everything. Pati mag-forex kayo kung gusto nyo. So um, for me, gusto ko siya kasi lahat. Like, I can even trade Poland if I wanted to. Um, I think there's a maintenance fee. Eh. Like, parang you have to trade once a month or something. Although for me kasi, kung nag-open ka ng $3,000 account, realistically, sure ka ba na $3,000 hindi mo gagalawin? Kaya nga nag-open ng account para to buy kahit nasabi mo $100 lang. Pag sinabi mong inactivity fee, dapat bumili ka kahit $100 worth. Or else, madededuct ka ata ng $10 or something. And the point is, ako naman, eh, pinasok ko yun kasi may gusto ko talagang bilhin. Eh. So, wala akong problema sa inactivity fee na yan. Also, I forgot, IBKR pays you if you have an inactive cash if your account is more than $25,000 already. Pero okay lang, guys. Like, um, even if you have a $3,000 account, pwede ka na mag-margin. Uh, sobrang mura nga eh, kasi like, less than 2% a year yung margin. Sobrang mura. Tapos, um, lahat eh, pwede mong bilhin. Kailangan, kung gusto mo mag-exchange traded fund, nandyan din. Basta click ka lang ng click, tapos sabihin mo, may trading years of experience ka. Kasi, pag sinabi mo, wala kang trading experience, di ka makakatrade ng lahat. There was a point na parang, kunwari, like yung iba sa amin, bumibili kami ng 10 cent and soft bank ay yung Tencent, TCHY, tsaka SoftBank, SFTBY, or Nintendo, NTDOY. Um, dalawa kasi yung paraan. Pwede mo bilhin yan sa Japan, magko-convert ka ng Japanese yen. Or pwedeng sa US kasi may mga ADRs doon. Yung ADR na yon yun yung parang pseudo-derivative para doon sa SoftBank. Kasi SoftBank is 9984. Yung SFTBY, yun yung derivative ni SoftBank. Minimirror niya si SoftBank Group. Kaso, si SFTBY, nakalist siya sa pink sheets. Yung parang penny stock land nila. So, kapag hindi ka naka-enable nung pink sheets, hindi ka makakabili ng SFTBY, hindi ka makakabili ng TCEHY, hindi ka makakabili ng NTDOY. So, tip ko sa inyo. Well, of course, kinonfigure ko na yung account ko na, hoy, patrade nyo ng penny stocks, hindi mo bibili ng penny eh. Bibiliin ko itong mga to eh. Gets mo? So, parang in IBKR, very strict sila sa mga risk management questionnaire. Like, pag sasabihin nila, may trading experience ko ba na ganito? O let's say, gusto mag-trade ng options. Sasabihin mo yun, magpapas ka pa nga ng exam eh. Like, there's something like that. Eh, ako parang, wala akong pake dyan, wala akong pake mag-trade ng options. Although, I guess some of the people, they trade options. Kasi, sa options, parang leverage products yun eh. May like, kunwari, nag-option sila ng mga calls, ng Tesla. Is money withdrawal not difficult? Hindi. Same lang siya sa bankware. So, you bankware. So, de-deposit mo yung bank mo. Tapos, pag-transfer, ganun din. I-click-click mo lang yung ano, withdraw. So, punta ka lang sa trade. Uh, mag-withdraw ka lang. Ganun lang din yung process. Parehas lang. So, basta, basta nakalagay lang yung dollar account mo. Now, if wala kang dollar account, Pwede mo naman gawin is um, mag-ask ka ng somebody with a dollar account. So ako, I help people na walang dollar account kasi Philippine peso lang yung account nila. They sell to me their dollars. Ako yung bahala mag-withdraw nung ano nila. Pero they have to click withdraw. Siyempre, ikaw pa rin mag-withdraw sa bank mo para depositan ako. If I see the dollar in my account, okay, na-receive ko na, then I pay you in pesos.
That, that's how it is. Like, pero you can do this. Like, kung may BDO dollar account ka, i-bank wire transfer mo. By the way, I forgot, walang taxes. Um, foreigners tayo eh, Filipinos tayo. So, wait, Ben rule tells us walang tax. Ang Amerikano, zero fee sila when they use Robinhood, Ameritrade, E-Trade, IBKR. The reason why a lot of foreigners use IBKR is because I think the most, I'm not sure if this is the reason, ha, kasi IBKR is always being promoted in Bloomberg. Ad- advertise ng advertise sa Bloomberg. So yun na, talagang um, it is the lowest cost. It is the lowest cost. It's the lowest cost. Yes nga, included nga in IB lahat. Forex, options, cryptocurrencies, bonds, exchange-traded funds, lahat. The answer is yes, everything. Walang charge for holding position overnight. Except if naka-margin ka. Siyempre, nag-ubayad ka margin interest. You can hold the name for like a year or two years or five years or ten years. Walang charge yun. Kung gusto mo patulugin, kalimutan mo na yung password mo, okay lang yun. Okay, um, so yan, I hope that you 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 get um, everything like uh, you understood. I'm going to invite you to class because uh, as I said, um, we have these awesome 10x classes. Uh, you can see that uh, we have a very easy way for you to learn. Um, ano ba tong mga to? Kunwari, ang hirap naman, mag-aaral ba ako? Paano yan? So manood ka na lang ng video, di ba? O oh, one hour yan every time. So example, ganito. Sino ba tong limelight na to? So parang nanonood ka lang ng mga videos. Kita mo na. Ganyan lang. Tara! Yan. Kwento-kwento okay. so, lang. So yan. Dire-diretso lang yan. Baozun. O sports betting. Ganyan. Okay. The Shopify of China. Uh, okay. This is Nikki and thank you for listening. Every day yan, guys. We're going to discuss oh. Amazon, also known as the Shopify website. Slack, the son of a glitch. So, yan. Ganyan siya, guys. So, parang nanonood ka lang ng Netflix. So, for me, um, I'm inviting everyone to class. Uh, we have our free Friday classes. Yes, there are charges if you withdraw. Parehas lang. Kasi sa deposit, may, 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 may charge eh. Pag deposit mo, you have an 800 telegraphic transfer fee and $18 charge. Ganun din. Pag mag-withdraw ka, parehas. Babayaran mo rin yung 800 telegraphic transfer fee and $18 charge. Lahat naman yan, tina- charge yan ng banko eh. Citibank, China Bank, BDO, BPI, Metro Bank. Gusto mo, kawa- tawagin mo lang yung banko. Gusto mo, hoy, paki-transfer. Tapos tanggalin mo yung charge-charge. I-wave mo yan. Depende naman yan kung gaano kagaling, gaano kalakas ka sa banko eh. But, to me, honestly, eh, kung nag-deposit transfer ka lang ng $3,000, syempre hindi ka makakapag-wave ng ganun. Yan mo na, part of the fee talaga yun. May transfer fee. Okay, guys. So, yun. Um, yeah, like parang everyday, nandito kami sa Twitter. Uh, this is my Twitter account. Then we have a YouTube account. You're watching this. Um, thank you for watching. Um, I hope that you get started, trade globally, invest globally. Okay, matakot. Um, learn um, because if you don't learn spend one hour at least to learn because you learn more uh invest in your knowledge and then get your feet wet um if you want open an account a thousand dollars and then ask me if you have any questions restrictions i think some people said di sila makapag day trade di ko actually kasi ako Hindi naman ako day trader, so parang hindi ko masyado napansin yung ganong problema. But I think like parang wag ka lang mag-day trade. Kung baga, yung iba kasi pasok nila $1,000, in sila $1,000, all out next day $1,000. Kung kumita sila, parang kinakasino nila yung $1,000. So to be honest, hindi naman dapat mo gawin yun eh. So, so parang in a way, tinutulungan ka nga ni interactive brokers na kung nagpasok ka ng $1,000, magpasok ka ng $500, O sige, di imagine mo, mag-margin ka ng isa pang $1,000, pero um, I think magkakaroon ka ng sasabihin ni, sasabihin ni IBKR pattern day trade, PDT, which is okay lang. Sinasabi lang ni IBKR na um, kung pattern day trader ka, uh, dapat yata may certain amount sila na willing. Like parang dapat may above 25k. Pero hindi naman nila, they won't stop you from trading eh. Like parang papapahingahin lang nila yung account. Kumbaga parang 
pag nagkaroon ka ng PDT, nangyari din kasi sa akin yan, guys, na pattern day trade ako eh. So, sa pattern day trade, pahingahin mo lang, like, two days or three days, tapos okay na. Tapos i-margin mo na lang kung talagang kating-kating ka bumili. Kasi minsan talaga, 10,000 yung account mo, tapos buy and sell ka, tapos naubos na yung selling mo eh. Tapos three days pa yun pera, di gusto mong mag-buy na ulit. So, para hindi ka ma mahirapan, mag-margin ka. So, parang magbabayad ka lang ng 2 to 3 days para dun sa binili mo. Kasi maka-clear out yung mga binenta mo eh, di ba? So, okay lang yun. Thanks, guys. Oh, thanks for listening. Uh, thanks for your questions. Uh, and I, I'm happy to, ano, to share. If, you know, we can do live stream. If there are more questions, just uh, follow us in the YouTube channel. Ask away. I'll be happy to tell you our journey. And uh, sana more Pinoys understand global investing. Kasi minsan, hindi mo naman kailangan sabihin sa akin na secular trend na miss out mo eh. Kasi, you know, there's a lot of secular trends. The person who said na too late na ako sa online education, yun din yung tao na nagsabi na too late daw siya sa online e-commerce, online shopping eh. Eh pero yung C-Limited. Shopee na may-ari yun. Tapos may-ari yan ng Free Fire, League, League of Legends. Times 4 yan, ha? Pag bumili ka last year, bumibili kami yan, 30, 40, 50, ngayon 120. And it's not stopping. Alam nyo ba, Amazon, 1 to 3,000. So I'm not saying na parang, all I know is, hindi ka late. Masyado kayong parang naninervyos. Sa kakanervyos nyo, nawawala kayo ng lahat ng opportunities kasi parang, Willing kayo magkasino, tapos tong mga to, like sabi mo sa akin, Disney theme parks, kung mabibili kong 50% discount, mga ngate, matatakot ako. Sige, aulo ka ba? Willing ako to buy Nike kung bigay mo sa akin 50% discount. Daming opportunities, guys. Buksan nyo lang mata nyo. Uh, no tax. Actually, thank you. Uh, thanks for that question. Wala tayong tax. So, bayad mo lang $1 fee. So far, wala tayong fees. Do you, do you use leverage? Um, yun nga eh, um, you can margin. So technically, margin means leverage. So kung $10,000 account mo, mangutang $10,000, naka-leverage ka na. Uh, fractional shares, as I said, so fractional shares, pwede ka bumili $100, $200 worth of amount. Walang minimum. You can buy $5 worth of Tesla if you want. But the thing is, look, may $1 fee. So parang tanga ka ba, magbabayad ka ng, kunwari ha, bibili ka ng $100 of Tesla. Nagbayad ka ng $1 fee. So 1% yung interest na parang binayad mo. Whereas, kung bumili ka ng $500 worth of Tesla, edi $1 fee lang yun. $501 worth of, let's say, bumili ka ng Tesla ng $1,000. Ngayon, $1,400, diba? So, 40% up ka. So, yun. Um, the reason why you want to invest globally is the world is wide. And you have secular trends. Ang dami niya. Like, I, you know, I kwento that in Awesome 10X. Like, parang as many as, my God, 30, 30 secular trends. Di yan nagsta-stop, hindi siya natatapos. Uh, so, sayang kapag, you know, it's so sayang. If, if tingin mo sa mundo, Pilipinas lang, when the world is big, guys, it's big. You can invest in everything, China, India, so sayang yon. How to sign up for your class? Doon lang sa website. Yes, you can go to awesome10x.com, register ka doon. I think yung function namin doon for payment is PayPal. But uh, you can message us. Uh, we have C. Rich. Um, this is her number. Um, you can pay us through BDO and BPI. And then uh, we can give you our, our account. Sorry, ito yung number ni Rich. Uh, Rich Diaz. Um, so partner ko si Awesome 10X Planet. Kasi sila yung, si Awesome Planet, sila yung nagsabi sa magturo. Uh, 0917-531-8949. That's Rach Diaz. So uh, you can viber her or, or you can just message us here and then we'll just contact you if you if you want us to contact you. Or you can just email us. I forgot. Email us. Awesome10xofficial at gmail.com. You have fixed time for classes. It's 5.30 to 6.30 p.m. if you want to watch it live. But the reason why we said that you don't need to be there in the class live is because it's all recorded. So let's say 12 midnight or 1 a.m. or 3 a.m. or 9 a.m. Gusto mo kong aralin. Pasok ka lang dito. Ayan, bang. Para ka nanonood lang ng Spotify or nanon ah, sorry, ng Netflix. Pero nag-aaral ka, nagbabasa ka, nanonood ka ng videos with a direct stock market um, class. And to be fair, I'm not blogging this. Lahat ng mga class namin na pumasok, guys, kumita. Of course, talent and luck. Kasi syempre, paano ka 
matatalo up ng ganyan v, V-shape reversal March to July, di ba? Pero hindi lang yun. Siyempre, yung mga picks namin nag-outperform pa. So yun, di ba? Sayang, guys, if hindi kayo pumasok. Um, if talagang tingin nyo na, ay, ayoko magbayad, okay lang din, guys. Watch our Friday free classes. Meron kami dyan. We talked about C-Limited. We talked about Razer. Kayo na lang maghusga. Tingnan mo lahat ng global chart updates namin. Panorin mo yung April, May. Ah, May lang ako nag-YouTube. Tingnan mo, May, June, July. Panorin mo yun, one by one by one. Pakinggan mo lahat ng Spotify ko since June 2019. Tingnan mo kung tatoo yung sinasabi ko. Shit, nag 300% up nga. Sinabi niya, magbili ako ng pinto ito. Tang ina, 95 na yun. Parang ganun. Shopify, o nga, pinag-uusapan nila, 375. Tang ina, $1,030 na ngayon. ba? Diba? Sabihin mo yun sa sarili mo na parang ang dami mong nami-miss out kasi una, hindi ka nag-open ng account. Tapos hindi ka nag-aaral. Tapos wala lang, ayaw mo talaga, eh di wala akong magagawa sa'yo. ba? Diba? Sige, yun na guys. Um, we have class actually. 5.30, I have a class. Bye-bye. Thank you.